E aí, galera, beleza? Vamos voltar aqui com Expeditions Rome, galera. Acho que esse é o último episódio, hein? Eu acho que esse é o último episódio. Tenho quase certeza. Vambora lá. Questione Corvinos na sua vila. Vambora. Corvinos é aquele assassino que mandaram atrás da gente. Vambora. A gente lutou no vídeo passado. Galera, eu tô mudando os, os vídeos de... De 10 da noite pras 6 da tarde, tá? Pra ver se faz alguma diferença... Não que faça alguma diferença, acho que não vai fazer nenhuma diferença. Ninguém assiste esse canal, mas vamos lá. Vamos questionar esse safado. Só um instante. Deixa eu ver se eu tô gravando. Tô gravando. Vambora. Deixa eu falar com o Kaiso. Hum. Você acha que ele tá pronto pra falar? Sua atitude se tornou um pouco mais cooperativa durante a noite. Ele vai falar se ele sobrevive. Hum. Quer dizer, se nós podemos restrair a bestia. Uh, ele era... Como assim? Ele era próximo de Cineros, como er, nós éramos? We all have different ways of dealing with grief. I've sent him away. He's probably drowning his sorrows in wine now. Ah, tá. Beleza. O Bestia vazou. A gente vai interrogar o cara sem o Bestia. Ok. The Consul has announced that he wants to question this criminal himself. So I expect him to send some of his lictors our way. We are prepared for them. Beleza. O Lurco... Caramba, mano. O Lurco vai tentar vir aqui também? Fica alerta pra um ataque aí. Always. Vamos lá, vamos falar com o maluco. She was to be here. I don't know what she's doing. E, cadê a Cálida, mano? Vamos achar ela. Vamos achar ela. At once. Como assim? Ele tá indo procurar a Cálida? A gente não vai interrogar, não? Cadê a Cálida? Vamos pegar essas bolsas aqui antes de conversar ali com o NPC. Ele foi achar a Cálida Ou a gente vai atrás dela <risos> Ah, vamos conversar com o cara ali, vai Eu pensei que fosse ter alguma interação, mas não teve nenhuma Caramba, espirrei Ah, que o pariu, isso que dá, mano Dormir com o ventilador ligado Num calor infernal, dá nisso Vamos lá, da Dayaneira Everything is silent. Hum, tá muito quieto, eu não gosto disso Ele como um perdido esse sangue fresco é nele? O que... Esse sangue fresco nele, o que aconteceu? <risos> Caralho! Ele tentou lamber ela, mano. <risos> que bom que você não matou ele. Beleza. Você acha que alguém vai tentar salvar ele? Ele não é worth saving. Uh, ele não vale a pena ser salvo. Um, que vale a... O que faz você pensar isso? He is ele foi pego. Ah, é verdade, mano. Você acha que ele merece morrer? He is evil. Does not matter if he dies. He deserves eternal torment. Caramba, vamos falar com ele agora. Fine. Ué, cadê todo mundo? O Kaiso vazou, foi atrás da Cálida. Beleza, vamos falar com esse esse verme. Well. Here we go again. You want to try your hand at torturing me as well? Uh, não é a minha intenção. Eu só queria conversar. Se eu quisesse torturar ele, o best, eu estaria o best junto comigo. And if I don't want to answer? Ah, a gente fica a noite. A gente mata você. I doubt that. Ask then. Let's get this over with. Quanto tempo você está trabalhando com o Lurco? For too long. He hired me back when he assumed control of Wixi. Caralho, ele assumiu o controle da Wixi. Uh, você estava trabalhando com Félix Adrianos, então 
Of course not. Weeksy existed in one form or another for hundreds of years. Felix is only the latest of its commanders. I'm no fanatic, though. He merely hired me as a contingency. Beleza. Uh, então ele só tava trabalhando com os caras como uma, uma ponte entre o, os caras, né? Tipo, ele era eficiente. Uh, eu tenho a impressão de que você é mais leal... A, 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 o servo mais leal de Lurco. I am loyal to my contract. Besides, all of his loyal guards are dead, thanks to you. If I have to choose between loyalty and death, I don't have to ponder my options for long. Uh, você trabalharia para mim se eu pagasse mais do que o Lurco? It's not just money. Lurco is a very intelligent man, and I respect that. He plans ahead, and he rarely leaves things to chance. Uh... Ele planejou que nós teremos evidência de todos os crimes dele? It is the first serious misstep I have ever seen him make. You have got him powerfully rattled. Ah. That's why he will never face you in the Senate. That's why he sent me to assassinate you at last. Ah, então o Luco realmente cometeu um erro e se ferrou. Not out of any personal animosity. With Marcellus and his useless brutes gone, it was up to me to finish the job. É, isso só faria a punição dele pior. Uh, você realmente tinha que matar minha família? That wasn't me. He hired someone else for that. My job was simply to get rid of you. The consul obviously hoped you'd get yourself killed in Gallia. I guess this was his contingency plan. You of all people should know that warfare is about positioning. Once you can cover any possible move your foe might make, victory is a natural outcome. Merely by trying to win from such a position, your enemy defeats himself. Cara. Uh... Cara, o Lurco tá sem, tá sem opções agora, né? Ele só se ferrou. I would not bet on that. Look, I'm getting bored of this. We both know you're not going to kill me, and I've told you all I know. Frankly, none of this is any use to you. For all I know, me getting caught is part of Lurko's plan. So, hand me over to the authorities and let me face charges. Hum, será que consigo contratar esse merda? <laughs> Let's see. What do you have to offer? Olha, um salário de 500 denari. But you're not a wealthy person. Your money will dry up. Ah, você vai ficar como convidado por um tempo ou a gente mata ele. Your hospitality has been impeccable thus far. Beleza. Vamos só prender ele então. No problem. See you soon. Filho da puta. Não quis, não quis atuar com a gente. Vai ser preso, então. Talvez ele tenha... Cara, esse interrogatório não foi tão bom. Foi merda. Foi bem merda esse interrogatório. Enquanto esse Cícero, Cato e Cota... Vamos lá. Vamos encontrar os caras. Vamos ver o que que rola agora. Did he talk? Uh... Oh, ele não revelou muita coisa interessante. That is unfortunate. What do we do now? Uh... Bom, por atacar minha família, o Luco se fudeu, né? O Corvanus é uma boa testemunha também. That could be a benefit of all this, but if you couldn't make him talk. Ah, talvez com o tempo suficiente ele possa falar. Ou a presença dele possa deixar o cara inquieto, Lurko. Not a bad idea at all. The pressure on Lurko is mounting. 
Every man has a breaking point. Hum. Pô, atacando minha família, o Luco gerou evidências contra ele mesmo. Então ele tá fudido. This is so unlike him. Usually he has a plan. I wonder if the whole Corwinus business was a distraction. Distraction from what? E se ele fugir? Ele tá ferrado, mas se ele vazar? I took precautions. The Consul of Rome cannot leave the city unnoticed. Beleza. Nenhum dos meus guardas pretorianos chegaram. Cara, eles, será que tá, eles mataram meus amigos? I thought they'd be with you. I haven't seen any of your companions since yesterday. Meu Deus do céu. Isso me preocupa. Come to think of it, Cato wanted to meet us here too. But he's late. Caralho, cadê o Cato? He should be here any moment now. Don't worry. Cato is a smart man who knows how to handle a gladius. There he is. Your Praetorian guard is captured in front of the Senate. We must hurry. Caralho, capturaram meu pessoal. It seems he has them arrested for a number of crimes. Ele pode fazer isso? He is still dictator. Caralho. He can do whatever he wants. I fear there is nothing we can do to stop him within the bounds of the law. O que eles estavam fazendo na frente do Senado? Political theater. He has gathered a crowd and he's calling you out. You must be very careful. The lives of your friends are at stake. Meu Deus do céu, eu vou matar meus amigos. I'll try to gather some Praetorians. This is blatantly illegal, but I guess he's finally given up all pretense. He is. I'll come with you. Keep him occupied. Vamos embora. I, I will come with you as well. Caralho, mano, que merda. Esses personagens aqui equipam item? Não, não tem como equipar nada. Tá, vamos embora, cara. Tá que pariu, mano. Sequestrou meus amigos. Filho da puta. Ah, que pariu. Prendeu todo mundo, ele. Prendeu meus amigos. Traitor to the Republic. Murderer of Romans. Enemy of the people. I have had your co-conspirators arrested. And they are patiently waiting for their moment of execution. But my own patience is wearing thin. I know villains like you do not have a sense of honor or virtue. Nevertheless, I know you were at least born Roman. If you have a speck of honor left, confess and surrender. Consul, what are you doing? You can't publicly execute people without trial. Our laws forbid such despotism. As dictator, prescription is well within my rights. The people of Rome saw fit to grant me that power. Who are you to question the wisdom of the people? Ah, uh, cara, deixa eles irem. Isso é entre eu e você. They are people, are they not? They might have stopped serving you a long time ago, seeing how you are an enemy of the people. They are your compatriots, complicit in the same treason as you. They deserve death as much as you do. Deveríamos ser julgados na frente do Senado e o veredito deve ser anunciado por um juiz, não você. It is wartime. You of all people should understand what that means. I am still dictator. Não adianta não, cara. Nobody needs to appoint me as Eudex. I can do whatever I want in the best interest of Rome. And right now, I judge you guilty of the crime of treason. Will you submit yourself to my punishment? Cara, não tem como não, mano. Você nunca mereceu esse título de dictator. And I suppose it's your turn to play the Udex now. Unless your intention is to bore me to death, I would like to start executing these criminals. This is all shit. Those people are heroes. They've done nothing wrong. Let them go. You have lost your control, Lurko. Look at the faces of these people. Your fellow citizens, they're afraid. Only criminals and traitors should be afraid of me. They're afraid of what you have turned the Republic into. That fear will turn into anger the moment anyone decides to stand up and protect the Republic. You're a good tactician. 
Consider your position now. Your prisoners are the only advantage you possess. But they're only valuable while they're still alive. The Legatus can wait until you turn yourself into a murderer. Or we can simply kill you and save them all. Then you will have achieved nothing here. You wouldn't do that. You're men of law and order. Mano. Eu quero matar meus amigos, cara. Eu mato você se esse for o único jeito de salvar meus amigos. Do not let us take your vengeance away. Let us die in honor. Believe me, I don't want to die. But I also don't want to see you dead. Don't let him kill us like this. Whatever comes next, we will stand by your side. We will weather the storm as one. Don't do it, my friend. If you strike him down now, you'll give him legitimate cause to kill you. We are not worth that sacrifice. Caralho, mano. Mas se ele matar você, o que acontece com a sua família, Kaizo? You shall take care of them. And they can be proud of Enough! You. Make your decision. Não, mano. Não vou deixar o Luco fazer merda, não. Eu vou lutar com ele. What are you doing? You're giving up the high ground. This is what he wants. You'll be no better than him. Don't listen to Kikaro. The lives of your friends are worth more than your career. Let us end this. Eu prefiro salvar meus amigos. Get anyone. As pessoas estão do meu lado. O povo tá do meu lado. Caralho, as pessoas estão do meu lado. Estão jogando pedra nos caras, mano. A população tá do meu lado. Cara, como que eu chego ali? Como que eu vou lá? Como que eu subo? Será que eu consigo quebrar essas coisas aqui? O que, que dá mais dano aqui? Ah, é aqui. Eu acho que eu consigo quebrar ele lá em cima. Cara, seguinte, como é que eu quebro essa porra aqui? Vamos vir aqui, vamos ver se a gente consegue quebrar na porrada aqui. Caralho, não deu dano que tinha que dar. Quebrei. Vamos vir pra cá. Vamos vir pra cá, mano. Salvar meus amigos. I'm gonna save my friends. You did exactly what I anticipated, Legate. This is perfect. I highly doubt that. This angry mob seems to be quite a lot more than you bargained for, Lurko. Nossa, estão batendo os meus amigos. Eu ainda acho que a melhor ideia que a gente tomou agora foi invadir, subir aqui e desafiar o Luco, cara. Resolver as coisas de maneira correta, né? Através do Senado, só dá merda. O povo tá do nosso lado, mano. O povo tá atacando os caras. Isso é muito bom. Os caras tão jogando pedra nos malucos. Nossa, tá com fogo no cara.
Caralho, mano. Get me free. I will make these people regret ever being born. Cara, tem que matar esse maluco aqui. Vamos lá. Seguinte, vou dar o War Cry aqui. Não vai funcionar. Ou funciona. Eu vou dar com o principal, War Cry. Beleza, estunei geral. Ah lá, libertei dois. Caralho. You made a big mistake, friends. Let's see how you handle us when we are free and all. Caralho, mano. Eu tô, eu tô sem arma. Eu tô desarmado. Aí é foda. Tá, vou dar porrada então, mano. Vamos dar cabeça. Pera aí, vamos dar bater com o escudo. Pronto, esse cara tá morto. Vamos vir pra cá. GG, mano. Acabou pro, 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 pro Vitellius Luco. A gente derrota ele depois. Depois ele. O Lurco vai ser morto pela população, cara. Os civis estão matando ele. Os civis estão matando ele. <risos> Eu não vou nem precisar chegar perto dele que os civis estão matando ele. Vai, Cálida. Eu não posso dar flecha de fogo ali. Pronto. Tá morto no próximo turno, otário. Cadê? Vem pra cá você. Estuna esse cara aqui no fogo. Derruba ele no chão. Derruba ele no chão. Não, vou dar overpower, vai. Ah, eu tô com as adagas, sim. Vamos lá. Tactical advantage. Uh, ship shot. Morreu. Chive. GG, mano. O best é muito forte. Sneak ataque. Acabou. Cara, não morreu. Agora morre. Não. Caralho, acertei meu aliado. <risos> Beleza. Caralho, não destruiu ainda, mano. Destrói aqui. Beleza. Bate nesse cara. Vem pra cá, Deianeira. É, o Lurkio tá morto ali embaixo. No próximo turno, os cidadãos vão acabar com ele. Morreu. Tá bom, mano. Mataram ele! Caralho, mataram ele, velho! Drop your weapon, citizen. Step away from the console. It pains me to say this, but you'll have to come with us. Do as the Praetor says. 
There's not much I can do at this point. Why did you do this? Ah, mano. Ele ia matar todo mundo, cara. Everything we've ever done. Was it all for nothing in the end? It's a selfless act, Kaiser. The final sacrifice of the finest commander Rome has ever known. Bom, talvez essa seja a última vez que nós nos vejamos, né? If you think that, you are maybe not as smart as you seem. Let's go. Caralho, eu vou ser julgado agora, mano. Eu não queria deixar o Luco matar meus amigos, sinceramente. Ninguém merecia morrer, não. Depois de... Ah, tô preso. Ah, eu ainda, ainda tô melhor que você. Liar. Eu tive uma conversa com o Ele diz que nem o Kikaro pode salvar você. Por que você fez isso? Nós estávamos prontos para morrer por você. Mano, eu não queria deixar que ninguém morresse. Eu nunca deixaria vocês morrerem. Thank you. I see no reason why we have to leave you in there. You may be waiting to be exiled, but they will never let you live. You're too dangerous. So, do you want to get out of here? Hum, para onde eu iria? You can go to Egypt. Surely Cleopatra will protect you. Hum, Cleopatra protegeria? Uh, não é certo, eu devo ser julgado, né? You've done nothing wrong. Enough, Kaiso. He made his decision. We must respect it. Wally, my friend. I will never forget you. You did well. You did very well. Thank you. Thank you for showing me the very best of Rome. The spirits will remember you. The winds will sing your name in their songs. This is not the end. Caralho, mano. Será que acaba assim? The vou... sacrifice of the savior of Rome Caralho. has long since passed into legend. The historian's task is often to distill true events from the myths that are shared among people. But in this case, it proves nearly impossible to do so. It is said that the execution of Rome's savior led to 12 days of sorrow among its people. His corpse was taken from the temple by a mob stricken mad with grief. And burned in the forum on a pyre built from the stolen furniture of every building on the Capitolium. Senators, eager to curry populist favor, declared his day of death to be a public holiday. Many built shrines of worship and reverence to their sacrificed hero. Whether these accounts are untrue or perhaps exaggerated, one thing is beyond doubt. Though he had given his life to do so, he had saved the Republic from the brink of tyranny the temptation of empire. It is thanks to his noble sacrifice that our democracy has only grown stronger and that our republic endures to this day. Cineros. Once he had been an athlete, a wrestler, and a troublemaker. But in our story, he was a servus, a protector, and a mentor. He had died diligently performing the task to which he had devoted himself protecting his ward. Cineros was given a tomb in Rome's finest cemetery, next to his old Dominus, whose death had incited this story. Though his death had been unexpected, he met his end with dignity and resolve. He had received forgiveness and, after a fashion, vindication for the mistakes of his youth. He was missed by all those who knew him. Caeso left Rome with Lucia and their daughter, they traveled to Africa, as Caeso remembered the warm nights and the lush Nile Delta fondly. Here they found a place to settle and made a peaceful home for their family. Though their relationship was distant at first, their devotion to their child drew them together, and their affection for each other grew stronger through the years. To his surprise, Caeso took well to fatherhood, Caramba. and soon he and Lucia had many more children. Legal, mano. Devastated by the loss of her beloved, Calida left Rome in grief. She felt haunted by her past misdeeds, cursed to never find love and happiness again. She traveled north into Gallia, where she settled into a new life of hunting and forestry. In time, she did become happy there. She even found a new man to love, one who treated her well, oh, who loved her for who she was, and who would never sacrifice what they had together for politics or ideals. 
After the death of his friend, Bestia returned to the arena once more. But he was no longer a gladiator. His new vocation was to teach Pankration, Caralho. inspired by the example of his Magister Cineros. He applied himself to this new calling with every bit of the vigor and determination that had made him a champion before. As soon as things had quieted down, Bestia traveled to Africa once more to look for his sister. He did find her and bring her home. Ah, ele achou a irmã she dele. happily there for the rest of her life. With nothing left to keep her in Rome, Deaneira returned to her homelands in Shervia, where she reconnected with her family. Far from condemning her for her sister's death as she had feared, they were all overjoyed to have at least one of their daughters back. In time, Deaneira built a new family in Shervia and became a revered matriarch of her tribe. She never left them again. Wotelia Skyawala left Roman politics and moved to Upper Latium with his wife Liliana, where they raised their children together in peace. Cato remained an important figure in Roman politics, grudgingly respected even by those among the population who desired change. He remained a defender of the patrician class, a shield against the pandering and opportunism of more populist voices. He himself was elected consul twice throughout his life, and his years in the position were generally favorably regarded. Cicero served one more year as consul before his retirement. In his old days, he lived a quiet life on a farm in Sicily, where he was greatly beloved by the people for his time as quaestor. He continued to write many books on politics and law. Defeated once more by Rome, Mithridates escaped to the lands north of the Black Sea. Mithridates está vivo in the ainda. He could raise a new army, but the locals soon rebelled against his rule. Incapable of taking his own life by poison, in the end, Mithridates died by the sword of his bodyguard. With Zenobia in charge of Musia, it became once more a peaceful part of the Roman province of Asia Minor. With her focus on trade and strong ties to the neighboring regions, her people enjoyed a period of great prosperity. Without the leadership of Damianos, the rebellion of his gladiators soon spiraled out of control, beginning what became known as the Servile War. Escaped slaves terrorized the Roman citizens throughout Thracia until the wealthy senator Crassus brutally defeated them and crucified thousands along the road towards Rome. Lunia's death sent Nazamanes spiraling into a fractious conflict as greedy elders from minor tribes attempted to fill the void her passing had left behind. Though Queen Cleopatra attempted to bring the region under control, her attentions were too divided, the conflict too great for her to manage. Rome was forced to send more legions to enforce peace and stability with an iron fist. Though Africa Proconsularis eventually saw peace again, the traditions and culture of the Berber population were lost forever. Queen Cleopatra Philopato was, from the day of her coronation, a greatly beloved. É, a Cleopatra foi uma decisão que eu acho correta. Revered and admired by the population, she spent many of her days traveling up and down the Nile to visit her subjects and address their troubles and concerns. Under her rule, Egypt remained a powerful and prosperous nation and a strong ally of Rome. The fruits of the Nile flowed freely to the people of the Republic. After traveling all across Africa for many years, a going do gato. wherever her instincts took her, Raya eventually returned to Memphis and to the service of Tenere. The temple of Ubastia. A menina dos gatinhos. When her mentor passed away, Raya naturally assumed the mantle as high priestess of the cat goddess. Though the old faith was dwindling, she was greatly beloved by many, and her temple prospered, always home to many, many, many cats. With Diwitiacus once more assuming rulership of the Idwi, the tribe maintained a strong alliance with Rome, and through it, they greatly prospered. With the aid of the Aedui, Gallia slowly unified under Roman rule, and civilization soon began to creep into those lands, 
in the form of paved roads, aqueducts, and fortified Roman towns. In his old age, did the Druid ever regret hastening the absorption and suppression of his own faith and culture? We will never know. The once proud and strong Arwerni were greatly reduced by the defeat of Wakinga Torix, but his survival gave them hope. His will to make war upon Rome had been crushed, but he remained a strong figure of leadership among his people, even despite his failures. With his guidance, the tribes of Gallia remained unified and somewhat at peace, and vestiges of their culture and traditions survived their gradual subjugation under Rome. In this work, I have done my best to recount the history of this fascinating period, truthfully and accurately. As I have scoured the sources and spoken to many who claimed to have heard the story from someone who was there at the time, one thing that has stood out to me is the pivotal moments along the way where our story could have turned out very differently. If the savior of Rome had fled into exile, would the absence of such a shining example of duty and sacrifice have left the Senate door open for another aspiring despot to take the throne? Or if Wattelius Lurko had not been struck down on that stage, would the death of an innocent hero of Rome have served as an equally strong example to the citizens and senators? Most intriguingly of all, if the Legion had crossed the Rubicon on that fateful day, might Rome now be no longer a republic? but an empire. One should always take care when second-guessing historical figures with the benefit of hindsight. Here in the present, there will never truly be a way for you to know how you might have acted if you had lived in the past. Nor can you ever be certain how history will remember you. Caralho, cara. Vou falar uma coisa, eu não me arrependo de nenhuma decisão. Nenhuma. Eu não me arrependo de ter entrado em Roma com o meu exército, eu não me arrependo do personagem ter se sacrificado pra dar o um exemplo. Eu não me arrependo não, cara. Sinceramente. Caramba, mano. Esse foi um bom jogo, galera. Eu não vou zerar de novo, não, tá? É... Fazendo os outros finais. Eu não tô afim, não, beleza? Mas caralho, que jogo bom, mano. Gostei pra caralho desse jogo. Expeditions Rome, galera. Mais uma série finalizada aqui do canal. Beleza, então eu vou encerrar por aqui, galera. Se você viu essa série inteira, comenta aí. E, sei lá, mano. Fala o que você achou do final do jogo. <risos> Qual final você acha que é mais legal. Embora eu só tenha feito um final. O que você teria feito no meu lugar. Mete aquele likezão aí e, e compartilha com os amigos aí. Beleza, então falou.